Welcome back to the show. Now, our next guest has come all the way from Down Under. Her uh, latest album, The Magician's Daughter, is due out in Ireland on May 2nd. Make sure you check it out. But first, let's meet Mama Kin. Mama Kin, welcome to the Two Tube Studio. Thank you so much for coming in and meeting us. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you so much for making this video because the first time I saw it, I was like, this is incredible. Tell us the story behind it and how it all came about. Well, my friends have a swimming pool yeah. and they have um, a room that looks has a window into the swimming pool. How voyeuristic. It's awesome. <laughs> don't so, go skinny dipping. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe do. do. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Depends who's in the room. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, underneath that dress, as you can see there, yeah, I'm struggling to get up because I'm way down by an extremely heavy weight belt because I'm apparently very buoyant. So at the end of every shot, um, I had to then swim up to the top and sort of leave enough breath to then get Did up. Because you, like, you see in movies when people do these sort of scenes, there's scuba divers there being like, oh, let's get her to the top. Was there anybody to help? No, there was one, <laughs> was one, one of my friends. just chuck her in with loads of weights? <laughs> Pretty much. There was one of my friends with a noodle that would hang down <laughs> just in case I couldn't get all the way up. But I, I learned to use some scuba gear oh. the day before, and then so right before each shot, I have I had the scuba gear in my mouth, and then I sort of take it out and start doing the singing part. It was heaps of fun, but yeah. I was in bed for 40 hours afterwards. Oh my God, well, well deserved, it turned out brilliant. <laughs> Obviously, The Magician's Daughter, there is a meaning behind the name of the album. Yeah. So tell us about the story, because it is quite incredible. My grandfather was a magician um, in uh, post-war Malta, and my mother um, was his assistant. Um, one of 13 kids she was, and she was his assistant for a time. And um, I think it, I've always been so fascinated by their relationship, this idea of growing up with a father as a magician and yet knowing all of his tricks, you yeah. know, having this innate knowledge of how he did what he did, but this idea that people would come to see them and, le and leave feeling like they were touched with the idea that magic might just Might just exist. exist. Yeah. That's incredible. And do you know any magic tricks yourself? Nothing. No. <laughs> Not one. Well, could she do any magic tricks herself? Or, or... No, she can't really. I mean, she, she only did them assisted and he's yeah. obviously, he's passed away. And she's still really cagey about describing, you know, how, how, how it, it all, goes, all, all goes down, which yeah. I really admire, yeah. And tell us a bit more about the record. I mean, um, where did the inspiration come from? Um, look, it's a body of work that, that came from the desire to explore the human condition. Um, I think all my work really comes from that. I really, I'm fascinated by the human psyche and how we tick and how how we think that we tick differently. You know, yeah. how we feel isolated, but ultimately we share so much. Do you ever find it difficult, difficult going into those kind of areas in order to explore your own music? And, and is it difficult to get out of them? No, it's totally where I live. Really? Um, it's why I make music. I make music because I really believe that vulnerability and power are the two sides of the one corner. Yeah. Coin. So I think, you know, the more we delve into those places that we think are the darkest, the, the more we can connect. Um, but it's frightening. And well, every time you perform in, uh, the songs, I guess, as well, do, do those frightening feelings come back? Absolutely. Really? Yeah, yeah and it's cathartic. Yeah. You know, it's like you're sort of tapping back into those places continuously. It's, um, yeah, it keeps me connected. Mm. And uh, you've had amazing reviews for this album already, so that must be an amazing vote of confidence. As I said, Rolling Stone, all these sort of things. How incredible is it to get that and then I guess move around and, and I know that it coming out in Ireland it could be something also something amazing? Uh, it's something I take really quite seriously. You know, people's yeah. people well, first of all, I have my own relationship with the album. Mm -hmm. And I and you know, I had this great saying before releasing my first album, which was beware of the compliment and the insult for the for the charlatans they both are. Yeah. So I try and stay a little bit detached from that. I'm I'm more honoured by the idea of someone turning up, a stranger turning up, buying to a, a ticket. And you are talking show. about the gig, so uh, to everybody at home, uh, Mama Kin is playing all across Ireland over the next week. It's going to be in Kilkenny, Cork, Dingle and Dublin and Whelan's uh, next week as well. And I said the album is out on May 2nd. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in Chicago. You are going to perform for us. What are you going to play? I'm going to play a song from the album called One Too Many. I'll take it away. One too many promises One too many times One too many Sorries, baby, for making me cry, for making me cry. Cause you were my knight in shining armor. I was June and you were Johnny Cash. 
Well, you were my love forever after. But the bulls changed all that. One too many promises. One too many times. One too many sorries, baby. Cry. For making me cry 